Hi, I'm Larry from North Florida Communications, and today we're going to take a look at the LG IPEX Android Communicator. IPEX Communicator is an app that you put on your smartphone, either an iPhone or an Android, that allows you to have an extension directly off your telephone system. The IPEX Communicator can replace an expensive DACT or Wi-Fi proprietary solution, and it can also give you a lot more features than your generic analog extension would, such as a, a regular cordless. What's great about this is it can work not only in your office, but it can work from your home as well. It will work on 4G, but you really want to have a good solid Wi-Fi connection. If you have an office Wi-Fi system, it's even better because you can roam the office and, and take calls wherever you need to so you don't miss that important call. If you have a, a warehouse somewhere that people are back and forth in, it's great if you have a, an existing Wi-Fi connection out there. You can make calls anywhere. The app itself is free, but you do need a license for your telephone system for it to operate. Let's take a look at the app. The app on my phone has already been installed and configured, so I just tap on the IPEX Communicator icon to open it. You'll notice a familiar looking interface that looks much like your regular phone app. On the top of the screen you can choose from dial pad, call log, contact list, or SMS. From the dial pad you can dial any extension on the phone system or you can dial an external number. I'm going to call my extension which is 103. I'm now connected. I can place the call and hold if I wish or simply press end. The call is now on hold. I'm hearing music on the other phone. So now that I get the call back, I simply press hold once more. If I wanted to, I could transfer the call, uh, even make a conference call. Let's try that. Placing that call back on hold. I'll make a second call. Once that call answers, I'm just going to place it on hold. Well, actually, I'll just take this one off of hold. Now both calls are together. I can press in and have both those calls together, or I can place one on hold or the other on hold, etc. Now, if I tab over to call log, I can see a list of calls I've made. Contacts, is a, this is a separate contact list from your regular iPhone or your regular Android list. This allows you to put separate extension numbers in that would not be really necessary on your, your regular iPhone or regular Android list. Also have an SMS tab, which SMS stands for short message service and operates a lot of the way like your cell phone text does. Now realistically you can text a, another office phone but it doesn't you know, work that well and it's a pain to get that. But you can text from your, your web GUI to your, your IPEX communicator. We'll take a look at that in a second. Well, let's go back to the dial pad. Now I can dial an outside number or I can get calls as well. So if I pick up my desk phone and dial my Android communicator extension, which is 144, that call rings. I'll simply press answer. I can talk back and forth or whatever. Another great feature is that we can set up your, your phone, your desk phone, so that you can get calls on your Android communicator at the same time. So if, if you need to go round about the office and wander in and out for a while, you can have both phones ring at the same time. So if somebody dialed your extension number, either internally or external, it would ring right to your phone, both phones. Let's take a look at the, the SMS for just a second. Now we're going to send a short message via the web GUI of our telephone system. We'll just open up Internet Explorer and type in the IP address of our phone system. We'll just go to Station Program, put in our station number and password combination, send internal SMS, then the extension on my cell phone is 144, so that's what we'll put up here in the station range. Then we can just put in a short message. We can hit save. 
The phone's now alerted that we have a message. We can take a look at that. Now we can reply back to that message using our cell phone. It's going to send a message to our desk phone or the desk phone of the person who left the message. Let's try it. Now if you look at the desk phone, we have a message waiting indication here and a little envelope there. To check that message, we'll simply press, press message, scroll down to SMS, which shows we have one message, hit OK, and we can see the reply. Then we can simply delete it. That's it. So the Android communicator will not take place of a regular phone. You wouldn't want to use it all the time. But it is a great handy feature to have and at a low cost. If you have any questions, give us a call here at North Florida Communications.